Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be checking out this put together puzzle. It's an 11 piece puzzle that looks like an elephant and it is called Elephant because of that. Uh, this was sent to me by puzzlemaster.ca for review purposes, so thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Link to their website is in the description. So this puzzle is uh, produced by a company called Pelican Puzzles. They're out of the Czech Republic. Uh, run by a guy named Jacob Dvorak. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. <laughs> I've said it in many videos. I hope that it is right. Uh, they are my favorite uh, puzzle producer when it comes to wooden puzzles of this nature. They've mass produced a couple of mine, including this one right here and this one right here, and also a Superman and Batman themed one as well, which I don't have assembled at the moment to show you. But anyways, a uh, really nice puzzle. It's 11 parts. It's made mostly from cherry wood, and it is $72.99 on puzzlemaster.ca. So if you're American, uh, you can uh, get it a little bit cheaper than that using US dollars. Anyways, um, really, really awesome. I love the finish of these puzzles. Now, one of the criticisms that I've been getting on this channel lately, mostly rude ones from people, <laughs> to be honest, but I do take consideration to them is that I spend too much time talking about the puzzle and not enough time showing its functionality. So I'm still going to talk about the puzzle and I'm still going to show it and showcase, you know, display and all that kind of stuff. But I will do that after the solve for, you know, people who, who don't want to see that stuff. Anyways, so this comes into 11 parts. So let's put the 11 parts down. All right. So this is the 11 parts of the puzzle. Uh, it's a fairly easy puzzle to put together. It's more for uh, display purposes as well. I mean, obviously a puzzle. I find it fun to have people come over and take it apart and then see if they can figure out how to put it back together. Most people can do it in about uh, half an hour, not even knowing the shape of the puzzle, what it's supposed to resemble because it kind of almost at first seems obvious with the tusks and the ears and stuff. Um, Personally, it took me about five minutes to figure it out. I took it apart when I got it and I let it sit for a few weeks and then I came back when I had forgotten everything about it and it didn't take me too long to do it. So I'm going to show you how this thing goes back together. So if you don't want it to, to be spoiled for you because you want to get this, uh, click to this part in the video, this timestamp, and you will bypass all of that. Then on to showing the pieces a little bit more detail and my final thoughts about it. So we're going to show you guys how to put this thing back together. So the first thing you want to do is take this middle piece here and you want to grab uh, two of these. So one of these and one of these, you will see that they are mirrored and they kind of fit on just like this. Now you'll find that when you fit them on, uh, you know, the, the cuts here are perfect, but here you'll see that there's a little notch here that will be obvious why later on. And then these are the tusks. So you can fit the tusks in just like this. And, nope, that's wrong. <laughs> so I believe it's this one here that goes with this one. Yep, perfect. So you want to put that one in there. Take this one, put this one in here, and just fit these together. And now you want to put these tusks in between those, and you'll see this whole thing now fits together nicely with the tusks. From here, you want to put the ears in. It doesn't matter if you put them this way or whatever, because they just rotate anyways. And from here, you want to take the center block piece, kind of put that right in the middle, line that up. It does go off the back a little bit, so don't be thinking it won't fit because of that. And now we take one of these pieces here and push, push you'll see that the ears you have room if you turn them this way but not this way and you put them in sort of like this fit that together hold that and then take one of these pieces and place this inside and now you can see why that groove was there because it fits like that and then you take one of these pieces you got to keep the elephant ears flat put it here and when you go like this now that locks that piece in and nothing can else nothing can come out if that piece is locked in so now you want to turn it this way and do the same thing over here so this piece here belongs here this piece belongs here turn the ears and this piece goes here all right, so that is how you put this thing together. It's not uh, a very difficult puzzle. Now, elephant ears should be like this, 
not like that. <laughs> but I'll find that uh, they'll turn down. It's hard for them to stay up or to stay completely that way because of the balance of the ears. Um, that's that's really my only criticism of this puzzle is that they, the ears don't stay unless you like hold it at an angle for them to stay. If you put it down, they just fall. But anyways, really, really nice puzzle. I'm going to leave a link to this at the top of the description. Under that is going to be another link that you can see all of Pelican's puzzles, including I think they still have either Superman or Batman when I designed on that uh, page as well. Um, and then... Also, uh, a link to their actual website underneath that so you guys can browse however you would like. Anyways, guys, so that is the wooden elephant puzzle. It's $72.99 on puzzlemaster.ca. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you some shots now. So I will, I will see you guys in my next video.